And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the New York Mets. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Singy, the big bat in the lineup so far this year, number eight. He leads the team and wins above replacement. So most days, you can expect him to be a big factor for these guys. Yeah, Boog, he's definitely a huge piece of the puzzle for this ball club right now. He's just having a really nice year, and that's on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. You talk to guys in the clubhouse, the coaching staff, they always have great things to say about him, and they say the team really looks to him to be one of the on-field leaders day in and day out. Just about set to go now, and today's starter, Nolan Ryan. How about a scouting report on him? Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trust it, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trust that his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats. And first offering is fouled off. First pitch, 7-10. And that's outside. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. The pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And the 1-0. That one missed. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Pitch is in there. Two balls and a strike. They say it went. Two balls, two strikes. And the righty deals. And now the count filled up three and two. One down, base is empty. Center field, number one, should have this one. Makes the catch, two away. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. The 1 0. That one drifts Whoa. inside. That Whoa. misses the zone. Three balls, no strikes. The wind of the pitch. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Next up for Texas, Jim Lemon. Fourth right now in the American League home run leaderboard. First offering misses the mark.
And the right-hander deals. And fouled off. Kicks and deals. And there's a ball. In the air, out towards left center. And that is that. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Welcome back. And today's starting pitcher, Frank Tanana. What do we need to know here? Well, last time out, picked up his 15th win of the year. He's been really putting things together at the perfect time. We'll see if he can go out there today and, more importantly, get a win for the team. Ken Boswell stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. The 0-2. And one, ball two. one. Got him swinging. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more that fastballs in that location. Not Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Hi. And the batter now, number 15. No ball. One strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Next pitch just misses. One and two to count. Struck him out looking. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Two down, nobody on. In for a strike, and it's one and one. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. And two it is one. two and one. Slapped foul. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back here in Queens, all set for the start of the inning. And now the DH, Mickey Vernon. Vernon. Ryan back to work. Ball one Hello. there. And another oh. ball. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack, sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. Ah. There's a strike, and it's 2-1. Krista players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based 
on who's umpiring or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised I'd say the latter because pitchers got to pitch to his strengths regardless the hitters got to hit to his strength so you're aware of it but you have to just hunt for what you can handle Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. That misses, oh, no. and that's ball one. One ball, no strike. No score here in the second. Right side, and oh. foul ball. Next pitch is outside. That's a little bit low. Three ball, one strike. The three one. And he walked him. Take your base. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And now, Ed Stroud. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. That one missing oh, inside. Oh. Robinson, the base runner at first with one out. Next oh, one man. misses, two and one. And a pitch. Hard ground ball, base knock. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. He was all that over is. that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So next to hit for Texas, number 13. Fought off foul. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. Good eye Two in that out. spot. One out. Runners at first and second. That misses, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Next one misses, three and one. Number three up next. Fouls one away, and now three and two. K 
kicks and fires. Got him! And now two gone. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. Number three stepping in for the Rangers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One oh. Righty delivers. Two balls, no strikes to count. Two on, two outs. Good eye right there. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Kurt Flood in the on-deck circle for Texas. The pitch. There's a strike. First and second, two down. Strike two. And a pitch. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Rangers leave a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. And here's the rookie center fielder, number one. The center fielder, number one. The wide to kick the pitch. And he dodges that fastball. Well, you've got to establish the inside part of the plate early, and that sends a message not just to this hitter, but to the rest of the guys in this lineup. Next pitch misses, and now 2-0. Just oh, missed. And he deals. And a four pitch walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, and that last one. Number Didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. So digging in, number seven. Here's the first. And he dives back in safely. Another move to first. And he's back in that time as well. And first offering is fouled off. Nobody out. Runner at first. To first, and they've got him picked off. To second, and he's out. Man, that's tough right there. I understand wanting to try to get into scoring position, but you've got to realize the guy at the plate's so hot right now, you don't want to take the bat out of his hands in terms of having a bigger RBI opportunity. Unfortunate mistake right there. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 oh, hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. Fights it off. He'll see another. And he'll two. Out to center. Diving try, but it falls in. Base hit. 
Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Number 27 in the box now. No balls and a strike. The 0-1. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And makes the grab. Two down. Batting seven. The right field. Rod Gaspar. Rod Gaspar. The next to hit. Now fly ball to right center. Lemon gliding to his left. Tracks it down for the out. And that is that. Mets leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. New inning getting started. And now it's the Rangers leadoff hitter. Kurt Flood. Fly ball down the line. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Cut on and miss. Throw to second. Save. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw was just a little wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. The 0-1. And that's oh. down it away. Well, here's a good opportunity in this One inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. This to center field. Number one makes his way towards it. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's one away. And now the first baseman, number five. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think Be you right. attack him in this spot. In there for strike one. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Flood around third. He'll score easily, and it's 1-0. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. Jim Lemon will hit next. He's 0 for 1. In there, and it's 0-1. And that's downstairs and outside. Righty to the plate. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Stays alive. Runner at second here, one gone.
Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's out number two. <laughs> Pretty simple plan of attack on the mound right there, huh? Yeah, nothing but fastballs. They just kept putting down the number one and letting it fly. I like it. Yeah, me too, and I'd love to hit against that. But, of course, when you're in the box, you think he's bound to change speeds on you at some point. You're just kind of locked up, sort of like reverse psychology. Mickey Vernon getting ready to hit. And that's in there for strike one. pitch in the dirt and it's a ball and a strike as the runner holds next offering okay. upstairs not really attacking on the mound in this at bat all breaking balls so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here Pitch misses. Three balls and a strike. Eddie Robinson in the on-deck circle. Runner at second. Two down. In the air, left field. Jones sizes this one up. That is the inning. Rangers get one on the RBI double. And the home team down a run. Bottom of the inning and Leading stepping up, in for New York, up, Wayne Garrett. The third baseman, Wayne Garrett. Tanana back to work. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. No ball, one strike. And that one just missed off the outside edge. The 1 1. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So up next for New York, number eight. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Runner leads away at second. So two balls and no strikes. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And there's a strike. Foul ball. Garrett leads off second with nobody out. Got him looking. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Now, here is Ken Boswell. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. And strike two. No ball. Two strikes. One out and a runner at second. Gonna count one, one and two. two. Oh. 
the punch out there and he's down on strikes for the second time today so back-to-back -back strikeouts now and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double yeah boogie and you just don't want to get careless here you've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double as you mentioned and just got to execute your pitches and it's a non-issue and now the shortstop number 15 went down on strikes his first time through foul ball there Man on second, two down. Just oh, missed. Two outs and one in scoring position. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Two one. And here it comes. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Still two and two after the foul ball. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Swing and a miss struck him out. That's the third out. Inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to inning number four. It's the Rangers one and the Mets nothing. here at the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's the second baseman Eddie Robinson. And the right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Well these Rangers doing a great job Boog of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run but the starters pitch count is starting to get up there ball. and that might be the best news yet for this offense. One ball. One strike. The 1-1. One, one. That one oh. missed. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to one the next strike. arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. That one fouled off. Two and two. Two-two down. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Ed Stroud now at the plate. Single to right in his first trip. There's a strike. At the belt and fires. There's yep. a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Runner at first with no outs here. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Clip the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. Number 13, the next to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Yeah. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. 
And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Strike on the outside. And the count is 0-2. Good eye right there. Left-hand batter waits. Got him looking. That's his second strikeout. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Number three stepping in for the Rangers. He popped out his first time. There's a strike. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. And the pitch. That misses Ball. the zone. Yeah, the count one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. And an excellent job keeping it right there. The pitch. Goes down looking. Nothing across on no hits, no errors, and one left on. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Rangers one and the Mets nothing. Back here at City Field, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Leon Jones. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss oh, wow. at 100 miles an hour. On the ground, right side. On to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Number one up now for the Mets. Tries to hold up, appeal to first. He went around, according to Carl Dixon. And that oh. one is inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. To third. Fair ball. And it bangs up against the wall. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. And next for the Mets, number seven. Picked up a base hit to center his first time on. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2013 in the playoffs. You caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Yeah, 
And he's down 0-2 as oh, he swings through it. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Foul ball still 0-2. And a pitch. In the dirt. Runner holds. Count goes to one and two. Snap throw to first. And he's back safely. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. That's towards center. Lemon moving under it. Brings it in. Two down. Now that Number so now here's the Mets DH. Number 27. Flied out his first time. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball hey. over the shortstop's head. Over to first, and he's saved. And there's the ball. Step off, throw to first, and he's back in on a dive. Pitch no. misses there, 2 and 0. Oh. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. 2 0. -oh. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Rod Gaspar up next for the Mets. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Great RBI okay. spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Bounce to the right. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Rangers one and the Mets nothing. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Dean Chance. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And now the right fielder, Kurt Flood. One for two. Kurt Flood. The wind of the pitch. And there's a strike. Wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Garrett. Slings to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now back. Number 11. And now number 11.
First Whoa. offering misses the mark. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Bob Miller getting loose out there. Reed getting loose as well. The pitch. Right That's through the there for a strike. On the ground, and that's, that's just foul. Next Ball offering two. misses. Ball two. Two, two. And now it's oh, filled yeah. up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. 3-2 now. Gets a piece and stays alive. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball now the other ball. way. But Double that time, a little anxious. Up next for the Rangers, number five. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a good one eye one. there. 1-1. One, one. And the righty deals. In the air, left side. Jones gets under it. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. Offense held in check there. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Rangers one and the Mets nothing. Welcome back. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Rod Gaspar. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Waste no time there. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Here's the third baseman, Wayne Garrett, doubled his first time up. In there, and it's 0-1. Gaspar aboard here at first with nobody out. And a pitch. Next One, offering two. misses down and away. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then buried that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Number eight digs in now. Caught looking his first time up. Pitch misses inside. And that is ball one. Tanana picks over. Gaspar back in on a dive. Oh. 
Next oh. one misses, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss as he was late. Bringing the cheese on that one. Kicks and deals. Slow ground ball to the right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And now the lefty. Now a pop-up on the infield. He's got it. There's two away. Now back. Second base. Back to the top of the lineup. And stepping in for New York, Ken Boswell, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch, and he no, just it. misses. Popped up on the left side of the infield. He's got it. And that is out number three. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. We're through five. It's the Rangers one and the Mets nothing. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now at the plate, Jim Lemon. Chance back to work. Just no, off, off the, the outside part of the plate. Activity in the bullpen. Ron Taylor appears to be getting loose. Right-hander kicks deals. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Bounce to the right side. Tosses to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Mickey Vernon. Mickey Vernon stepping in for the Rangers. Vernon, 27 years old. He's knocked in nine over his last 10 games. Pitch misses inside. And that's ball one. And a swing and a miss there. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. In for a strike. And it's one and two. Well, he went inside a couple of times. And now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. That's down and in. Now all even up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that quickly, two away. Oh, that was perfect execution of that curveball. Down oh, and in. He gets it out of the danger the zone. And you really can't do it much hey. better than that. It's in the zone the entire way. So you have to swing as a hitter. But then just falls off the table and almost hits you in the back foot. Robinson ah. stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is foul back. Next one oh. misses, and it's one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. And there's a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. The bat. The bat. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Ed Stroud stepping in for the Rangers. His righty lefty splits there. Oh. 
Ball one, oh. no strikes. Stroud goes five feet, 11 inches, 185 pounds, usually in center field, but today starting in left. That one off the mark, two balls, no strikes. One thing I always felt if I played left field instead of center field was that the ball gets out there to you pretty quick, and the most important play is that ball down the left field line, getting to it, cutting it off, making a strong throw to keep that single instead of turning it into a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So two on with two away. Number 13 getting ready to hit. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Two outs. That one pulled foul. Here's the 0-2. Diving! And he can't make the play. Here comes the throw. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Here in Queens, well, we go bottom six and stepping in for New York, number 15. First ball. pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And here it comes. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. Inside, just missed. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. And that's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. No outs. Runner at first. Leon Jones now at the plate. First pitch just misses. Just missed. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Been painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able... Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Ow! Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. And he deals. He goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. At the play, number one. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. The lefty to 1 0. -0. 
just Ball missed. Number seven waiting to hit for the Mets. And a pitch. Called strike right there. Here comes a pitch. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. That's in there. It's 0-1. Go well, with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. And the 0-1. Run around the goal. There's a ball. Throw to second and great jump. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home runs so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. Line drive. Oh, he gloves it. 
We refer to third base as the hot corner, but that one was a hot one on the other side of the diamond. Nice job. Quickly leaving the ground. Makes the catch, and that ends the inning. Back here at the ballpark, here's the shortstop at the play. Number three. Number three. And a pitch. Ball one there. And it's even up. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. On the ground. Boswell. The throw to first. Out. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. The right field, number 21. Kurt. Kurt. Whoa. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the right fielder. Kurt Flood. One for three. That missed inside. Oh, wow. One and oh. And misses inside. inside. Righty delivers. Off the ball mark three. there. Ball three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Here's a 3 0. And right. that's in for a strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3 0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. That ah. one catches the zone, and it's 3 and 2. Line drive, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Number 11, the next to hit. Rudder takes off. This one popped up. Boswell on the move. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number five, stepping in for the Rangers. That's in for a strike. That one hit to right. He makes the grab, and that'll do it. One left for Texas. They lead it one nothing. We join for the traditional seven inning stretch. And welcome back. Stepping in, number twenty-seven. All well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. There's the strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Number 13 has a beat on it. Makes the grab one away. The right field, number 13. So up next for New York, Rod Gaspar. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. In there for strike one. Up the middle, and he can't come up with it.
And next for the Mets, Wayne Garrett. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. And that's in there for strike one. Gaspar leads off first with one away. In the air, center field. Lemon on his way over. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two down. Well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches in this game. Number eight will hit right? next. Number eight. And still looking for that hit to keep this streak going. And this might be his last shot at it, Booth. That misses off the outside edge. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. On the ground to third. They get the force, and the inning is over. Mets strand one, and it remains 1-0. Ron Taylor gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's pitching on two days rest. Jim Lemon stepping in for the Rangers. The pitch. There's a strike. pitch fights that one away and the count remains 0 and 2 the wide to kick the pitch and takes low for ball one Swing tried to got? hold up now an appeal to first. Nope, he held back. And he grounds one back up the middle. In plenty of time to first, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now it's the DH, Mickey Vernon. And the first one pitch out. misses for ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Bob Miller getting ready to go. There's a strike. Next pitch downstairs. Two and one. And the right-hander deals. That one pushed foul. Left-hand batter waits. Ball. Full count. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's the second out. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Robinson in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. The old one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at-bat. 
And one and two. One ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing for the Rangers, but they're on top, one nothing. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the Mets leadoff man, Ken Boswell. The wind of the pitch. Uh -huh. And that's a strike. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Horacio Pena, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. That's no. off the mark. It's a ball and two One, strikes. Two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. The next offering misses, and the count is even, two and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because Ward will get around the league in a hurry. Number 15, in the box now, takes strike one. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Strike two. Ball. two strike. That one, one drifts two. inside. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment move, get back on track. His team needs him. Here's the left fielder, Leon Jones. And there's a strike. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Ball. Gonna count one and two. Pitcher doing an excellent ball. job of Good working strike. in and out. Jammed him with one pitch, now going away. Tell you what, as a hitter, you've got to look at one part of the plate. You can't cover from black to black. Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Down in order, go to Mets. They're down one nothing. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now the left fielder, Ed Stroud. Taylor, 26 years old. He's one of very few players in Major League Baseball born in Maine. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Oh now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One down. Now bad, bad. Number 13. Number 13 stepping in for the Rangers. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. And first offering is fouled off. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And now the oh, count the is even. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off.
Left hand hitter waits. And now two and two. Upstairs. Full count. Oh, what a stop. Fires to first, and they get the out. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop, gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the boys up for sure. Now it's the shortstop, number three. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. The 1 0. He swings and fouls one off. Ball to strike. The pitch. That one fouled off. The one two. And that just misses. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. One run game here in the top of the ninth. This one in the air center field. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. Bottom of the ninth coming up. And we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. Welcome back. Here's the center fielder. Number one. The center fielder. Number one. the pitch that's in there if he doesn't get a knock right here that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while you might not see another pitch like that from a top level guy like this the tying run at the plate there's a strike well we call that key holding even though it's right there and looks pretty good if he doesn't love it he's not going to swing that early in the count no, misses a it's a ball and two strikes One, two. that's a really good take Next pitch two, is two. in the dirt. Two and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Number seven in the box now. Take strike one. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. Next pitch misses outside. And one and one. Home team down a run. And the home team trying to pull it out. The next pitch misses. And a count two and one. Looked like it was a little bit up. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And the tying run is on base. Well, it might be time to dig into that bullpen. He's looking a little fatigued to me. And the Rangers manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move.
One down. So now here's the Mets DH, number 27. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Makes the catch, and there are two outs. The right field, number 18, Rod Gaspar. Rod Gaspar up now for the Mets. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Swing and a miss, oh, and that's strike one. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Oh. That one misses, and now it's even one and one. And there's the strike. One ball, two Checks his swing. Now would appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. Trying to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. Got him, and that's the ball game. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. The month of August is coming to a close, and tomorrow rosters will expand. But first, here's what happened in yesterday's action. Looking first at the NL East, the Rangers brought out the rooms in a three-game sweep as they took care of the Mets at City Field, 7-3.